hello we are here in a gojek car and uh, if you're coming first time to bali um, probably you're not going to have an international driving li license to drive here because it's crazy so uh, what people do here is to uh, take the gojek uh, moto bike or the gojek car when they are traveling for more far distance we were in Bu ubud and now we are going to South Bali again to Jimbaran and Uluwatu region and uh, we got a shuttle for two, pe two person would be like four or five dollars for each person and uh, it was much much cheaper than the maybe uh, 20 dollars for the taxi if you're just with a lot of money you can pay the taxi and uh, there is no big issue on that but uh, we came to a place nearby the airport because the airport now is having some um, working and they are constructing a tunnel and this kind of stuff so the traffic is huge <laughs> and in the airport you cannot take this kind of gojek grab and all this kind of uh, bluebird all these cheap taxis they only allow you to uh, pay the uh, very expensive taxis it's common in Uluwatu, in, uh, in the airport, every place that it's very uh, crowded with tourists, they block the pickup of these cheap taxis. They only allow them to uh, go out because they don't know how to prohibit it. <laughs> because that's how they make money there. And uh, uh, when you take this uh, Gojek, um, maybe. <laughs> The person that is going to drive you is not going to know English so you maybe will need to ask for the the girl in the shop to talk Indonesian with them because um, there is something very interesting here when we went to Bud by Gojek uh, they like uh, make a, a, a kind of corruption out of the system they uh, call you or they chat with you asking more money than the price that the app gives you and they, if you don't do that probably they are not going to take you you have to just like bargain with them and this is the way that everything in indonesia goes you just put a little bit more money on the on the table and things start working um, but uh, if you're going back from Ubud to other places like the airport it probably will be much more cheaper if you go by shuttle and during the shuttle probably you're going to be with a lot of air conditioner and this kind of stuff and uh, if you're going to if you're not used or this kind of stuff you need to prepare yourself because usually you have a lot of difference in the change of the weather since you're traveling and uh, this is very um, prejudicial to your health Please be careful not to lose a lot of uh, your energy and your immune system with this uh, cold in the van or hot outside the car, this kind of stuff. So uh, always when you're changing temperatures, like in hot, humid places like Indonesia, pay attention that this will provoke your vata and you, you maybe start to sneeze and this kind of stuff. So take one like a menthol or ginger uh, candy with you or something more natural if you find. And always remember to protect yourself with some kind of scarf. My scarf, I don't know where it is now, but it's around. Because you're probably not going to be able to control the air conditioner system in the place that you're going. Okay? Always remember that when you go out and go in of very strong and very hard difference of temperature your system will probably tend to get sick uh, take care on that and see you in the next video nice indonesia for you too namaste